Welcome back, everybody, back to Creative Eye and our trailer reactions. Welcome back. We are back again with our reactions. And this time, because there's so many like trailers that came out, especially because of D23, yep. um, we're doing uh, a couple of videos today, but we're going to do double features. So we're going to do like two. Double features. Yeah, double features. We're going to do two trailers uh, on this video, and then we'll do another one with another two, so forth and so on. So I hope you can uh, chill with us and sit back and watch these trailers with us. And our first trailer that we're going to do is for Disney Plus's Marvel show, Agatha, All Along. I'm very interested. Are you? For real? Yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I am interested. Um, I'm just curious of what it has to do with, like, the rest of the MCU. And what is the purpose of, like, this particular character? You know what I mean? Um, unless this is going to be, um, uh, what do you call it? Like one of those special presentations that Marvel does for like werewolf at night and stuff like that, you know, that type of thing where it's kind of a one-off and it doesn't have anything to do but with. I wonder if this is going to show what Agatha was up to during, um, um, WandaVision. WandaVision. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know if it is. I, I think I think it's after. It could be before. Well, it Who says knows? Agatha all along. So right. So I'm like, cause, because they did show a portion of her mm -hmm. throughout most of WandaVision. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. So I'm wondering if it's going to go behind the scenes of Agatha and what she was primarily doing that right, led right. to some of her little... Yeah, we'll most yeah. definitely see. See if the trailer gives us a little hint of that. But without further ado, let's get to it. Here we go. Agatha. Who's been messing up everything? The Covenless Witch. It's been Agatha all along. <laughs> no. What really happened to you? Seekest thou the road to all that's foul and fair? She took every little bit of power I had. Gather sisters mm. fire. I'm assembling a coven. We gotta get back on top. Air. I'm gonna walk the road. Join me. Darkest hour, wake thy power, earthly and divine. The Witch's Road will give you the thing you want most. If you make it to the end. The road is a death wish. <sighs> Heard you guys were having a party. What's up? Hey. <laughs> Wait, Shall we? What was that? <laughs> it will test us. And our knowledge of the craft. Against our worst oh. nightmares. How do we pass this trial without any power? We survive like witches have been doing for centuries. <gasps> what happens next? I just need these witches to get me to the end. The bodies are really piling up. Why do you let them believe those things about you? Because the truth is too awful. I want my prize! Oh. Time to finish the road. Last one there is a nice person. September 8th, two episode so premiere. premiere. Interesting. Wow. Okay. Okay. So, so that that's that's pretty interesting. Um, now, uh, to be honest, I haven't kept up with like the news or any of the backstory or anything dealing with this new show. 
I I do remember like when they first announced that they were going to do it, mm-hmm. and there was like little information here and there, but I didn't keep up with that one. Right. So I don't know where this is really um, setting itself as far as like timeline wise. Like, is it is this during the time? Because uh, it looks like they're going to show how that how she got to where right. she was in Wandavision, right? Because they they showed that a little bit, but I'm wondering is this beforehand? Like, before it happened? It looks like it. You know, like a prequel. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm wondering if that's what it is. Mm. It, I mean, it looks, to me, it, I am interested as far as the way the trailer looked. It looks like, uh, it looks kind of just like one of those cool, just one-off type shows, um, you know, series-wise, mm-hmm. that looks like it might be pretty, pretty good as far as the story within itself. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. they might give you little glimpses of here and there about how it might connect to the MCU, mm-hmm. um, and what so and so forth and so on. But other than that, I think it's like it looks like a story within itself. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I don't I don't know except for like the Wandavision part. Like there'll be any other connection, maybe who knows? But just the way it's done, it just mm-hmm. looks like a cool like you know um, show that's going to be especially coming up in September because it's kind of going into the, into the, Halloween, the Halloween holidays season, yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting to see. It, it, I'm 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 intrigued. <laughs> Has piqued my interest, you know, just for the show itself, so, yeah. not because it's Marvel, because it's MCU. It just looks like an interesting show. Yeah. Just from what I'm seeing and the 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 effects and. Just what kind of uh, vibe it has? Yeah, I just want to understand all about Agatha, mm-hmm, right? You know, right, because she played she played a large a, and a good character at that. Yeah, she was a great a large character. role and great character right, in right. WandaVision. So, so it's gonna be cool yeah. to see how this goes. It, you know, because she, she did such a good job in WandaVision mm-hmm. that it's gonna be interesting to see how they do it uh, for her own show. Yeah, yeah, you know, but yeah, this is. Uh, this is something that comes out in September, it said. So yep. uh, we're, we're going to watch it for sure. For sure. We're most, interest, most definitely uh, piqued our interest. Mm-hmm. <coughs> so uh, the next one that's coming up, another uh, trailer that came out of um, uh, D23 mm-hmm. is a Star Wars series called Skeleton Crew. Mm-hmm. Heard about it again. Didn't really follow it. You know, at the time or anything like that. So I'm I'm not really sure the background of it, you know. But it is a Star Wars story, and it's called the Skeleton Crew. I think uh, is it Jude Law that's in it. Um, so it's gonna be interesting to see. So uh, really, yeah, yeah, I think so. Really? So um, and this comes out uh, December. This comes out during okay. September, uh, okay. December. So uh, let's get ready to watch it. Let's go. Tomorrow's test will set the course of your entire future. Don't you ever want to do anything exciting? Like what? What if we could go anywhere we we want in the whole galaxy? A real adventure. No more pretend. I found something buried in the woods. What do you think it is? Hmm. What is it? I think it's a lost Jedi temple. Oh. Oh. Hello? Be careful where you stop. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. The visuals is always look good. Always. Oh, that's uh. It's dangerous out here in space. Trust no one. Mm. Mm. Oh. You're a Jedi. <gasps> oh, there he goes. Skeleton crew. Okay. Okay. So, Star Wars. Yes. 
They've been having some issues, or people have been having issues with (laughs) Star Wars lately with different things going on with them, the shows and how good or bad they are, um, and the way things are going. You know, I'm I'm a Star Wars fan. I mean, I'm not a fanatic or anything like that. I'm nowhere near that. I just like good stories. I like Star I, I like stories I like Star Wars a lot, um, and they true they have come out with some really good stuff and they come out with some kind of bad stuff, you know. And sometimes it's convoluted timeline seems weird things they did changes and so forth and so on. It's not for everybody, but you know for the most part I've liked a lot of the stuff that they have come out with and there's some that I'm like eh, that's okay but you know. It could have been better or whatever the case may be, but I'm not like, oh, my God, they're so bad and they suck and everybody's talking about wokeness and all this jazz. And, you know, I understand it, but, you know, some of it, uh, you know, it, I can understand some of it. I'm like, yeah, they could have went back the other way and so forth and so on. But either way it goes, you know, I still like to watch the shows, their shows to see how, how they do, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. Now. For me, this you know what this reminds me of? What? Now, one of the things about Star Wars or how they do Star Wars now is, like, their visuals are always on point. Always. You know, I always think that they're on point. You know, there's been times when they've been kind of, like, lacking, but most part, they're pretty good with uh, their visuals. But this reminds me of the Goonies. Yes. You know, it it's like a Goonies, space the Goonies. Goonies, vibe, yeah. <laughs> Goonies space and Goonies. Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it had it even reminded me of like Steven Spielberg and stuff like that. The way his shots are and just the way that especially with the music in the background and the kids. Because yeah. this looks like uh like a, a family movie, a family show. Uh kids yeah. would love to watch this, yeah. this type of thing. Definitely. It looks like that kind of that kind of thing. But it gives me Goonies vibes. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> it, it does. And so it, it. I am. I love the Goonies. You know. So I, I like movies like that. W- with movies that deal with like a bunch of kids like working together, mm-hmm. or like friends. Like you know, you got stuff from the Goonies, Sandlot, Sandlot yes. um, uh, you know, Stand by Me. Yes. Uh, uh, what <laughs> What else? Um, you know. Oh, jeez. Oh, There's so many other ones, and I can't think of them all right now. Super Eight stuff like that. You know. I, I like those type of movies. It's just a nostalgia thing because I remember, like, you know, when I was younger. Growing up, yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. Mm-hmm. So it, it does interest me. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that it's, it's good and, and that it's, uh, you know, I don't, ca- I don't necessarily know if I care if it follows everything Star Wars-wise. As long as it's just good uh, uh, and it gives that, that feeling of, you know, wow, this was very – entertaining exciting to watch you know yeah. especially when you got kids in it doing their thing and mm-hmm. you know uh, uh, as friends because mm-hmm. that's what it looks like mm-hmm. yeah but yeah it gives yeah. me big goody vibes yeah yeah i'm interested I'm in anything star wars be it right, right. uh the movies i i follow the timeline pretty good but mm-hmm. i i got everything from this guy right here <laughs> as far as, as getting into star wars so i'm interested for the simple fact that it's a group of kids who could be the cho- offspring of parents who are part of, mm-hmm. you know, the Jedi. So it's e- and even though there are some good and some bad with the Star Wars mm-hmm. world and how it is and the timeline and everything, I right. think everything coexists within that world because mm-hmm. there's different background stories right. to each character because Star Wars is big and there are a lot of characters. Right. That exactly. yeah. you know, that sure. also have play in that type of world. So mm-hmm. I, I'm interested in seeing this. Yeah. I mean this is just be interesting, you know, because uh, I I look forward to some of the um shows or stories that are not necessarily in the Star Wars canonized stuff like you know everything dealing with like you know um you know the trilogies the prequels or anything mm-hmm. like that like something just totally away from that like in the in the same world but its own thing like I'm interested in those types of stories mm-hmm. too and you know because you don't want to hear the same type of stuff over and over and over again with the same type of story dealing connecting with the same type of people and so forth and so on you kind of want to see some different stuff that's why I like some of the um the one-offs they do with like tales of the jedi you know yeah. um 
tales of what's the tales of the empire i like um visions you know mm -hmm. you know s and stuff like that so i like stuff like that I, I like to see stories within the world but not necessarily connected to what the found the f other like original star wars stuff or prequels or you know, new stuff or anything like that, but totally separated. True, but you know, I like to see always, some of that too. It always leads back to home, no matter how <laughs> branched off it can it can be. Even well, if yeah, it's I mean that's how off. that's how it has to be connected worldwide, yeah, of course. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So but you're gonna have. I, I don't need to. I don't need to always hear, but I don't also. I also don't need to hear about stories just dealing with like all the Skywalkers or all you know. Um, uh, People dealing with like you know uh, the dark side with Darth Vader and Palpatine and all them and his children and so forth and you know everything about these characters, you know the ma these main characters, offspring and everything like that. I mean, there's other stories. That's why we like the Mandalorian, you know, because the Mandalorian, even though it was connected, it still was away from that stuff, you know. Uh, and I think that's another reason why people like even though it was connected to a lot of the the main characters it still was like its own yeah it's always going to you know always, I mean? it's all it's all a story is always going to be its own apart <clears throat> from the bigger picture of it but it still has relation to the oh, bigger oh well that's how yeah it. and that's how it's going to so be you're as far as the world building you know who the skywalkers are you want to know you're going to want to <clears throat> know both both sides of the coin and then it branches out you know, further out to where it cuts off at a certain point where, you know, that bigger picture has nothing to do with the the smaller, you know, parts of the bigger picture, but still close to it because they're still growing up in it, mm. uh, uh, growing up alongside of it, you mm -hmm. know. So that's why I'm so interested in Star Wars because it's it's a variety of worlds and that's Big what i'm planets, saying i mean smaller planets right and know. that's that's what i'm saying it's a variety of stuff yeah. like that it doesn't have to always stick with the same people same no, it, line it, of it doesn't, stuff but there's you know, going to be a character but it has to be good who doesn't play a much part of it that who's connected and you know you go down that road to see you know the backstory of someone who was a part of let's say the the jedi the resistance the you know, the empire, mm -hmm. you know, so it's, it's six degrees of separation, no matter how you look at it. So to see these kids gain, you know, group up, become the skeleton crew and lead themselves down their own journey will fall in line to meeting up with what they didn't know, wh which was a larger picture. Always Possibly. Happens. Always happens. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see what happens or where the story leads. I mean, yeah, you're always going to have that uh, that familiarity, familiar, blah, 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 blah. yeah, uh, that familiar feeling of what Star Wars is and and everything like that. But you know, you also you know they're also trying to tell you know new stories, and that's fine. I'm yeah, cool yeah, with yeah, it yeah, as long as it's good. That's fine. New you know stories I mean? always great, but you, you know, always we'll have to remember about the myths and the tales, which started it all to make forth new stories. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, if you if you're gonna involve if you're gonna involve those things into it, yes. They're but if you're not be involved, whether or not that's not true. I don't think that's true. I mean, there's been Star Wars stories that you know, or stories out there that have not necessarily dealt with the Jedi or with you know, the, you know, it, it's something that looms. Doesn't necessarily you know, have to. It's something have that to looms. Make reference to it, yeah, something right. But it looms over like a dark cloud. Yeah, I mean. And that's what it is. That's what Star Wars yeah, is, exactly. right? Exactly. So it, it no you know. no matter way, shape, or form of it. But not every story has to be about Jedi's it and doesn't, Sith it, and it doesn't and, you know unless what I'm unless it comes to to that conclusion. And yeah. there's a story that about a lost I don't Jedi. Know. I don't lost, know. I I know? don't know. I see it a little different. You know, <laughs> I, I I think I think after a while you can you can only you can tell certain stories. For only so for so much so long for so long before it starts to get tiring, you know that's why like some of the, some of the stories that were put out we were excited for them because it, they didn't always necessarily have to deal with you know lightsabers or this and that you know there were some differences that you know made it a little bit more 
fresh and brand new feeling. You know, now I'm not saying nothing wrong with having that, you know, but and the same with the other side, as long, like I said, as long as it's a good story, but they don't have to sh- shove down our throat the same stuff over and over again all the time. You know, it, start, it will start to get, I think it starts to get, you know, repetitious, you know, because it, and especially if you're not doing it good, because they have faltered in some of their shows, you know, as far as that is concerned. But I mean, you know, we'll see. You know, it's it's going to be a debate for Star Wars fans the world over. You know, the goods and the bads. But you know, I'm not going to bash it or anything like that. I'm looking forward to see how they how, what they do with you know coming out with shows, and I'm always going to watch them and see how they do, and then go from there. But you know, I am looking forward to this this one because it does look interesting and fun and fresh. You know, because it's the main characters are kids, you know, going through their their kids' journeys. Kind of feels nostalgic. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But, you know, hey, that's what we do on here. We talk about our differences about how we feel about the shows and where we see things, and that's how you do it, right? That's authentic. And we can't wait to see what we see when it comes out. What would you say? December? December. December. And uh, that is Skeleton Crew. Let us know down in the comments what you think. Are you interested in seeing the Skeleton Crew? Uh, and that was Jude Law, right? Yep. Uh, looks like he's going to be playing some type of Force sensitive or a Jedi because they didn't. They didn't. That you know how they like to like. Um, what's the word? Like, uh, kind of trick you a little bit to make you think something, which is not the case. You know. You know, just because they showed that and the kid said, "Are you a Jedi?" You know. Is he a Jedi or is he force sensitive or what is he? You know what I mean? So it's going to be interesting to see what his character is or who his character is. Because again, I didn't really follow any um, background stuff on it. I didn't like look into what the production was, what the plot is or anything like that. Um, <laughs> and everything. You know, we've just been busy. Like, I haven't been able to keep up with a lot of stuff. All but, right. uh, but. You know, we'll see. It could it could be most definitely something that is kind of throwing us in a different way, making us think something. But we'll see what happens. Mm-hmm. But it's going to be interesting to see. You know, Jude Law it, moving from a Marvel character to a Star, Star Wars, Wars character mm. for the same company, <laughs> basically Disney, right? Mm. And let's see what they do with wow. it. Wow! But <laughs> let us know down in the comments. Make sure, hit, make sure, make sure, make sure you hit that sure, like, subscribe, sure. and that notification bell. Let you know when we're dropping those. Gems. gems help us on the road to 25,000 we're halfway there make sure you stay um alert to when we start to give you information about the giveaways of uh some funko pops yes all right and uh keep up with us and uh we'll you know we're gonna try to keep up our consistency we've been like super busy um and everything like that but you'll be hearing more trust me so just keep with us and we'll talk to you On the next one. Peace.